Okay, here we're going to look at insect management for squash, because if you're growing squash, you're likely to see one, if not all four, of these insects uh, on your plant. First one is cucumber beetles I'm going to start with. They are small yellow beetles with either black spots or black stripes. And they can start very early in the season, as early as first week of May. Insect netting is a good thing to cover your young seedlings with to act as a physical barrier. Organically, they can be controlled with pyganic or surround or chemically seven. Now while they are small, there's rarely just one and they will um, devastate leaves and they are very voracious eaters. Uh, so important to keep monitoring your plants, especially when they're small. Squash bugs is another one to look out for. They're large brown beetles that have almost an armor plating to them. When they're crushed, they smell like sour apple. And they lay small reddish tannish eggs and often laid in clusters. How to prevent these? The same thing, insect netting is the only real option. They're very difficult to control. Uh, organically pyganic may have some effect in this, chemically seven, but it does not really work that well on adults. You want to spray them at the nymph stage because they're much easier to control at this stage. Uh, the products work a little bit better. That armor plating kind of shields them from some of the chemical um, insecticides. To give you a size comparison, this is a spotted cucumber beetle. So you can see the relative size comparison of these squash bugs adult and nymphs to a spotted cucumber beetle. Now there's squash vine borers. They're large black moths that are mostly active around the mid part of the day. How to prevent them would be a physical barrier like insect netting, or you could plant butternut squash because they have solid vines and they're immune to squash vine borers. Now the moths don't really do the damage. They lay single eggs uh, throughout the plant, typically on the lower leaf stalks or the vine itself. And what happens from the egg is small grubble hatch and burrow into the vine and eat it from the inside out. They like to lay these eggs at the base of the plant and they're extremely hard to spot. Uh, and you'll typically see this orange kind of frass, and that could be an indication that you have a grub inside, especially if the plant starts to wilt. Aphids, another concern, what they lack in size to make up for in numbers. Very small black or tan or white or clear specks is what you're looking for. This kind of shows a very small um, how they can look here. On the underside of a leaf. If you find bumblebees in an area that's devoid of flowers, look closer. Uh, oftentimes this is a high site of aphid feeding because they're releasing plant sugars that the bumblebees are feeding on. You can use reflective plastic uh, weed block to help uh, repel aphids. They can be very difficult to control. Spraying garlic based sprays can help repay, re repel them. There's also biological control such as green lace weeks which can help um, actively kind of insect to insect uh, biocontrol them, uh, but they are very small and they do have a lot of numbers and they can do severe damage to your crops.